for example the second question is what is the power bi and why we require for the power bi question answer as a interviewer if you know the power bi and then you let me yeah power bi is a reporting tool from microsoft and based on this report the user will take the decision quickly in a summarized way that is the reason then we will use the power bi okay so we diagnose the report for example they will give the unstructured data then we need to prepare and we need to clean the data extract and load and transform we use the etl tool to clean the data and then we need to give the relationship and we need to prepare and then we show them client this is the data you so this is the last year sales this is the current year sales this is the year over year sales this is the growth of your sales this is the uh, your pro profit from these countries so india country is a profit high the japan country is a profit low when you are sold india country is less sold even then you will get the profit high then you need to increase the sales in japan country so this is the why the power bi is required first question the second question what is the second question okay what are the transformation i think this type you explained the interviewer may not ask you the what are the transformations you performed if you don't tell all those this end to end process then the interviewer may ask you what are the transformations you have followed and you have done in your current project the question answer i am the shankar yeah in my current project i have many of the transformations i have done for example use as a first row as a header so most of the times the column 1 column 2 column 3 is the header so then we need to first row as a header use then second is to remove the what are the unwanted columns first because of lot of columns we pulled the data from the source level so there this is really not required then we remove those columns first then if there any errors if there any null values then if the try to remove the nulls or we need to remove the some even rows okay after that if there any chance to for example you will get the error then we need to replace the value by some value with error after that then you need to like uh, see resend the data these are the errors we have getting and we need to do this thing after that then we need to create uh, some tables other than append or then uh, like uh, merge whatever the requirement most of the times i use the left outer join only because of then either if there any chance to work with some other right outer join or the inner join everything then we need to do after that you append and and then duplicate and the reference but in the some cases only we need to use the duplicate because of it is not interact with the main table so most of the times we used to reference table whenever is there any changes in the main table then it will automatically reflect to the reference table this type of transformations we need to clean and we need to prepare already we have the four tables uh, dimension table and then one of the sales table if there any relation like the column names is the different then we need to give the same column names from the dimension table into the sales table so this is the way i have done my transformations that is the second question i think third questions what are the connectivity types i think hope you know import and direct and live and you explain these things like import is a so on so like uh, all the 99 plus sources connected this is already i given okay the fifth question for, for example the fourth question what is the role level security when the role level security they will ask you you the secret when you restrict the data in the roles that is simple the restrict the data based on the roles first thing and we have a two types of role level first is the static role level security dynamic role level security immediately they will ask you uh, which role level you used yeah actually we have used dynamic role level security because of we have a lot of countries data so the user wants to given the some user names mail ids and the country names and then we need to take that particular table into the power bi and then we give the relationship this username to the 
country to the this sales table country and then user principal name we use it to use the user principal name as a dax function go to the modeling go to the create role level first then we need to give the role level what are the from which table you want to take the table and go to the dax function you give the user principal name and click okay and go to the view as a roles then you click on that username and you will give the one user uh, username and then we test it okay if this will work then you move into the power bi service you publish into the power bi service this report and where the go to the power bi service and the workspace in the workspace we have a data set this particular report role level secu uh, security report then you go to the three dots and go to the security there we will test the data you will give the one user id you will add the user id and then you will test the particular user when you log in then only they will show the data this is the how i developed in my current project that is the dynamic role level security okay next question what is the import uh, sorry what is the all and all select all except this is a very different question when you use the all it is a restricted data it is the ignore the filter it is not allow any filter for example i applied all for the entire table whenever you move either implicit measure either the explicit measure for example i want to divide the as per the department so it does not allow any filter if you the pay type you will move into the filter section it does not allow only showing the total sales here so this is about the all all selected it will allows the filter when you want to for example if you want to allow the filter by department then you will give the all selected sir all expect all accepted into this table name sales table name give the department name only it will allow the department otherwise remaining fields are not allowed the same as a allow uh, all function when you all accepted is to only it is allow external filter not implicit filter implicit measure when you give the all accepted in the department if you move the department into the particular table it doesn't allow any filter when you the department is to al allow uh, to do the filter in a filter section it will allow so that is the difference between allow all and all selected and all accepted yes that's it you don't give any extra the three examples next question sum sum x already you know sum sum x it is a filter level context sum x is a row level context it is a single column it will work it is a multiple column it will work it is a fast performance it is a slow performance sum column name sum x table name comma column name this is a very simple straight forward question but they may not ask like you this is for example we have a table a b c columns in this quantity sales and this one so that time then which function you will use either sum or sum x if you sum x why if you sum why yeah if that this is the row level you want to then we will use the sum x based on the situation then we will recommend for the sum or sum x if you work with a single column then it will i will recommend for the sum if it is more than two three columns row by row operation then that time then we will use the sum x next how many types of uh, workspaces we have a like two types of workspaces one is a my workspace and the other workspaces in the my workspace should not enter anybody only then i will allow to the workspaces workspace is nothing but is a like folder in a power bi service which we have in the desktop this level and the, what is the type of roles we have there are four types of roles admin role contributor role viewer role and the member role okay for example the interviewer ask you what are the role you have performed yeah actually when i joined the company then they will give the only the viewer role otherwise contributor role sometimes only admin role will give you only some cases all the cases all the not cases so you perfectly say yeah i am the contributor role just i only read and review the report and then i will push into the deployment to the uat workspace and then this workspace in the 
other workspaces we have the development workspace and then uat workspace and then production workspace uat workspace one more name is qa workspace quality assurance testing qa nothing but testing so development workspace all the your reports you need to load into the development workspace only okay so these tab then you may give this is the first mock interview then we will see one by one like in the real time how they will give the questions and answers then we will see the next pattern okay hope you understand